what's up, you guys? It's Joe from Quarant Talk, and this week on Quarant Talk, we have a special guest, Dylan Jess. Hey, hey guys. This week on Quarant Talk, we're going to start by talking about some of the favorite foods that we get from Wawa, which is where me and Dylan decided to meet today. So, Dylan, what's your like favorite thing from Wawa? Like, you go, you're hungry. What are you getting? Definitely a uh, pork roll, egg, and cheese uh, breakfast sizzly on a bagel. Mine's kind of weird. I get like a hoagie with the breaded chicken cheese and then barbecue sauce and ranch because it's kind of like boneless wings from Applebee's. That's usually, uh, I usually get, if it's nighttime and I'm hungry, I either get mac and cheese or uh, ch like a uh, chicken parm sandwich usually. So Dylan, question number one, what are some activities that you do? Um, I was a captain on the football team this year. I wrestled and I also uh, played, played lacrosse. This was your first year wrestling, right? Uh, yeah, it was. Are you glad that you did it? Uh, yeah, I mean, I wish I started sooner. It was, a, it was a fun time, I liked it. Yeah, that's how a lot of people are. They like start late and then wish they had done it more. Uh, Donald tried to get me to wrestle freshman year, but um, I, I hesitated until, waited until senior year, and I regret it. At least you got your full season. Yeah, I got something out of it. Question number two, what's your favorite quarantine pastime? Uh, I've been fishing a lot, so, uh, Probably fishing and video games. That's like the first time I've heard something different than baking or watching Netflix. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've definitely had my fair share of Netflix, but uh, nice to get outside because the weather's been nice. So. Yeah. Question number three, what are you looking forward to most after quarantine? Uh, after quarantine, I'm looking to, uh, I mean, I, I really want, I miss the guys. I want to hang out with them, mm -hmm. but uh, I got to self-isolate myself and to protect like my family and not to spread it, but I mean, definitely looking forward to hanging out with the guys after. So for those of you who don't know, Sterling started a men's lacrosse team about two years ago, just as a club team. So there was no um, games or anything. They just practiced and did some comps here and there. But this was supposed to be their first varsity season where they would have games. And a lot of our two-year members, soon to be three-year members, seniors, are missing out on their senior season and their only season of lacrosse because of COVID-19. And Dylan is one of those seniors who was a part of the team and was unfortunately robbed of his first and last season. So I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about that, see how like you're feeling with all of it. I mean, it's definitely an unfortunate event. Um, we're all looking forward to it, all the guys. Luckily we had like the uh, past two years playing to kind of learn, learn the sport and learn, or become to love it, but we're all looking forward to it, to it uh, this year. And uh, luckily we had time before to make make some memories and enjoy the time while it lasted. And we're, pretty, we're all pretty bummed about it. It's not the same thing as like everyone else. Like the reason I started this series was to get different perspectives from seniors. Yeah. So obviously for people like me and Paige, the biggest thing is like the musical. Oh, we yeah, lost definitely. that, but we've done, like at least we've had the musical for yeah, two you years. Still and had we've that had that experience before. Yeah, like we've had chances to do it. Like I just feel so bad for the lacrosse guys. Like they didn't even get an actual season. Yeah, I mean, it's different for like the the seniors because it's like your senior year is your time to shine. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you believe this, but I played lacrosse for a good day. I think. Yeah. I think I went to a day long clinic. It's in... Fun, isn't it? Yeah. No, I wish I was better at it, but one, it costs a sh like a crap ton of money to do it. And there were no local teams, and I, I'm just, I'm not athletic. I'm not yeah. built for it. <laughs> That's the thing. Like, the cross is, it's an up-and-coming sport. Like, it's not as popular, but you definitely see the numbers are definitely increasing. Like, our club team last year, we had, like, 25 guys or something, and we had 40 this year. So, I mean, it's def the numbers are definitely going up for yeah. it. So, I mean, it's good to see. I, hopefully, I can stick around and kind of help out with the team a little bit here and there. But Yeah, no, that's awesome. Yeah. So now that high school is officially canceled, if there was one thing you could do to go back and do, what would it be? Uh, I would definitely want to get more involved, like with club or with like uh, more activities in the school, like Spirit Week. I really didn't participate in as much. Looking back on it, I kind of wish I did because it, it'd be more memories I could uh, I could have. And now looking back, I'm just like seeing all the pictures people are posting. I'm like, if I participated, I could be in some of those. Yeah, no, I think that's the thing that definitely can be taken out of this. Like, if things do go back to normal, I think the main thing is get involved. Like, don't take what you have for granted. And that just makes me think of, like, how we were one of the, I think, two. I think only two senior classes have ever lost, senior, like, Spirit Week. We never lost tug-of-war, though, so that's... That's true. Undefeated in that still. 
but all the people that were like, oh, we have spring spirit week, we'll just win then. Don't take high school for granted. It, it flew by. It feels like just yesterday I was walking into my first block class freshman year. I know. And now looking back, it's, it's over. I mean, on to the next chapter, but definitely get involved. What are your plans for next year? Uh, planning on planning, attending the police academy in August, depending to see what happens with that. Yeah. And then uh, I want to get a degree in uh, emergency management. So I'll probably go to like Canada County or RCGC for two years. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Well, that's all this week for Quarren Talk with special guest Dylan Jess. Thank you for joining us, Dylan. Have a good one. Well, I'll see you guys next week with the new Quarren Talk. And as always, go Knights.